Great news today as RFK Jr. has decided to drop out of the Democratic Party to run for president of the United States independently. We're going to talk about that today. Welcome back to the Blockhash podcast channel. All right, here we go. So RFK, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. announced that he is abandoning the Democratic presidential bid to instead run as an independent in 2024. Speaking in Philadelphia, Kennedy said he could no longer remain in the party of his storied political family. He declared independence from the tyranny of corruption that he believes has infected everyone. He stated, but to do that, I must first declare my own independence, independence from the Democratic Party, quote unquote. Kennedy joins progressive scholar uh, Cornell West as major third party contenders. The longtime Democrat said leaving the party was painful, but he framed it as necessary to champion political reforms and take on corporate power over housing and other economic issues. Kennedy has also been a strong proponent for and voiced his strong pro-Bitcoin stances throughout his campaign thus far, pledging to protect individual wallet ownership and limit taxes on mining. He has also previously blasted the proposed FedNow CBDC as hostile to crypto innovation. He's also recently addressed the role of investment firms in contributing to the rise in housing costs and pointed out that their influence has resulted in making home ownership less accessible for many young Americans. Now, generally, I do not talk about politics on the podcast or here on the YouTube channel, but I thought it might be relevant to cover this since this is a major event. You got to think about it for the entire history of the United States. We've only ever had Republican presidents and Democratic presidents. And in every single election cycle, there more or less has been an independence contender, but they've never been able to muster any kind of popularity or drum up any kind of support to really challenge the establishment of the Republican or Democratic Party. So this is very interesting in the fact that Robert F. Kennedy is really popular, really popular, not just because his last name is Kennedy, but he stands for things that many people believe in. He also stands in the middle ground for a lot of people, and he might be the only person that can swing votes that are both Republican and Democrat at the same time. On the Republican side of the party, you have pretty much Trump leading the entire field. Whatever you think about Donald Trump, he is leading the Republican um, nomination, and he's probably going to win it regardless, especially with what's going on in the world right now with Ukraine, uh, Israel and Hamas, the national debt, um, the economy being super bad and inflation, you know, all these things come together to really actually make him more popular, especially within Republican Party. So uh, whether it's uh, Ron DeSantis or Vivek or uh, Mike Pence, you know, they all have a shot potentially, but more than likely they're fighting for a spot to be vice president to Trump if he were to actually become the president. So Trump will likely get the nomination for the Republican Party. And on the Democratic side, it doesn't look like they're going to be pulling another candidate. They're just going to run Biden again. So Biden, Harris versus Trump and whoever he picks for vice president, maybe Vivek, maybe DeSantis, you know, one of those strong candidates. Those are two tickets. But the third ticket is Kennedy. And it's again, it's very interesting because he stands for so many issues that I think most Americans and just people in general agree with. He has political viewpoints that are conservative in some ways, but he also has modest progressive viewpoints too. So he really does come in the middle. So if you're sick of either party, you're sick of the establishment, but you want a politician that seems like they give a shit, you know, Kennedy's your guy. On top of that, he's probably the best candidate for crypto. The Democratic Party hates crypto. The Republican Party is very hot and cold with it. You get a Trump, you know, Trump's not very crypto friendly, even though he had a Ethereum NFT collection where he made like $200,000, $250,000 selling NFTs. Uh, go figure. Someone else can explain that one to me. Um, Vivek is pro crypto. DeSantis is pro crypto and anti CBDCs. Most of the Republican Party is coming around to the idea of crypto and blockchain and the whole Web3 industry. So they're a little bit more the party for crypto. Democrats are anti-crypto. And Kennedy is just very, very pro-crypto, especially Bitcoin. I think more than anything, he's very pro-Bitcoin and has stated and believes 
that Bitcoin should be um, the currency that backs the U.S. dollar. He thinks Bitcoin has the best chance to be a global currency, something that connect the whole world, to connect the Internet. And he wants to back the U.S. dollar with that kind of an asset, that kind of a digital asset. And he wants to give freedom of money back to the people. I like that idea. I don't know if Bitcoin should be backing the U.S. dollar. I don't know if there's really an economic benefit to that. I'm not an economist. Um, I'm an investor, but I, I think promoting Bitcoin as being a healthy innovation is the right step. Encouraging people to own Bitcoin and not taxing them on it, as well as giving them the freedom to control their own keys, their own wallets, and what they do with their funds is fundamental to being an American. You should have freedom monetarily as American. Uh, you should be able to do whatever you want with your money without having to worry about being told you can't do something or having your money frozen or being blocked from a transaction or whatever it may be. He's pro-innovation. He's pro-freedom of money, all these things. I, I think him running as an independent will be the first time an independent has a real shot at presidency. Um, so if I understand it correctly, he he's only needs to get a little more than a third of the vote, so like 34%, something like that. I don't know how they'll handle that, but there's no way in hell Joe Biden is popular enough right now to even win head up, I think, against a Republican candidate, let alone have a third candidate that's going to suck up a ton of the votes, especially people that are sick and tired of both parties. In fact, Kennedy makes it more possible for Trump to win, Right? At the same time, if Trump does anything stupid and bombastic, and then Kennedy is the best candidate. So him running independent opens up a whole slew of opportunities for America that I think would be very positive and very good. I, again, I don't know if RFK is going to actually win, but he should do much better than Biden. I believe in the, even in the Democratic Party, he was technically polling better than Biden. So... You know, if I had to guess, you know, it's either going to be a Republican candidate that wins. So maybe Trump or a DeSantis or a Vivek or people are so sick and tired of the bullshit that they give Kennedy a chance. And for the first time in history, we have an independent win. I don't know what happens. All I know is that things are looking good for crypto going into 2024. I know things aren't the best today here at the end of 2023. There's a lot of chaos. There's a lot of geopolitical turmoil. Um foreign policy disasters, things on macro level that are crushing crypto at the moment. But Bitcoin so far has been holding very steady. And I think as we finish out 2023 and get into 2024, everything politically is looking very favorable for crypto. Everything, including the regulators. Uh, the SEC keeps losing in court. Gary Gensler is not making any progress. Um, Congress is getting ready to pass bills and laws to support crypto as well. So I think we're on the verge of the biggest bull market we've ever seen in this industry. And in my opinion, it could be the last one. I mean, there will always be cycles, ups and downs, bulls and bears. But this might be the biggest one we've ever seen ever, period. Simply because of the turmoil and the vitriolic hate towards the establishment and what it's doing to our freedoms as not just Americans, but just generally people all over the world. It's not just in America that this crap is happening. And you have two thirds of an opportunity between Kennedy running independent and the Republican party, a two third chance, two, two thirds of a chance, like a 70, some, some 70 something percent chance that we're going to actually get pro crypto, regulations, legislation, a Congress is pro-crypto, a White House is pro-crypto, and going into 2024, that's going to create a lot of optimism. And by the time we get to 2025, we're going to be just complete hysteria in a good way. So that's what I'm looking forward to. This is great news. I love to see it. And I think it's what we needed to dilute a little bit of both the establishment, establishment parties and give the people a third option that's actually viable. And I see a trend coming. So let me know in the comments what you think about RFK running independent, what that might do to the crypto industry, how it might affect Bitcoin, 
and where it could take us with this market. Let me know your thoughts. Let's chat about it. Make sure to like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. If you have, thank you so much. And I will talk to you guys again tomorrow. Cheers.